Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. It's it's early in the morning, about four in the morning. I'm sitting here in the living room slash dining room waiting for Edmund to grab some dinner, I'm assuming, some breakfast. Because I'm going to send him off on an expedition. I'm just sitting here listening to the crackle of the fire. Got the hand pan right here and the didgeridoo and this, the research bench. and Kind of fun in here. Yeah. Anyway, he's in pretty good shape. Let's set all this back up again. And he's, yeah, he's he's ready to go. We had a bug attack, what, maybe two days ago in in game days? So for me, it's been like a week. But um, I think it's time to sneak off a few, a few more of these expeditions. Um, I'm thinking about this one. I want to see what the seven hour expedition is beyond that eight hours we've got these other over here eight to eleven hours away so we're kind of getting back into their distance so it's probably the last of the easy semi easy trips to make but let's send Edmund out to that and go I'm thinking of sending Rita back to this one and grab three more or so um, whatchamacallits yeah, those things, CPU cores. And are we running? Now we are. And see if she can discover any last species out there. I think we're done with that. But one last trip for her to find out New Year's Eve. Find out if there's anything else out there. Turn this volume up a little. To add to the game, add to our, our plantings. But we are starting to get warm enough to where she's going to be planting now so this is probably her last trip new year's eve carter one year ends another one begins we do not know what tomorrow will bring but the turn of the time does give hope isn't that turn of the tide i'm not sure can we can gather and celebrate new year's eve at 2300 today so 11 p.m of course okay it is officially announced but edmund's taken off I assume he found a meal somewhere. There we go. And Rita will be next. Kana, I've asked to go and pick up some leather I kind of accidentally discovered out there. And I went ahead between episodes and set up a few things. What have we got here? Buzz shrooms. We haven't planted those before. She just discovered them a couple trips ago. So, well, uh, now it's too loud. Boy, that music just kind of comes and goes. Um, let's find out what those are about. We've got uh, fruit bushes, because these weren't enough. We ran out before the next growing season. And we've got uh, cure plant, which gives us antibiotics, and that's more than, you know, we have plenty of antibiotics already. We don't really need it anymore, but I'd like to at least see what it's all about. And I think I expanded this guy a little bit. Or maybe I didn't. What are you? You're buttermelon, so... I we have the one buttermelon patch over here, and we ran out of those two, so I added more over here. You are chew root. You are grain grass. I got rid of the great big grain grass field since we have so much grain in, in here. The shelves are full. Just took it down to one little field over here. You are the buttermelons. You are the beef berries. Yeah, she's, she's got a lot of planting to do. Anyway, uh, in fact, last time she planted out the, the smoke leaf and got that done. So, Carter is constructing traps. Good. And Connor's bringing that back. I asked Simon to get all the bricks going. We're going to start uh, bricking out our fence lines. In fact, I suppose we could do that now. Eh, we'll wait till Edmund gets back. Carter's got enough work ahead of him to try to disassemble and reassemble. Uh, fencing at that time although Simon could be transporting all that there is that all right let's get at least this run done right here and maybe we'll get this guy done too those are the ones that are most likely to break through our, our next attack um, so how best to do that get this guy horizontal with a screen and then try to grab a square like that. That's probably it. Then we'll go through and reconstruct and turn you into a brick fence. And three bricks per. And it times 14. So that's how many bricks are are, are committed now. Um, didn't tell us that we are short any, so we must have enough in stock 
already. There's 127 right there. Okay, boy. That's a lot of information in the first few minutes. And I'm paused again. I do that quite uh, often and without even realizing it. Rita is drinking. <laughs> I feel like I need one right now, too. Rita, what you doing right now? You are a wooden table. There we go. You're going to get some food. All right, so Rita, you... Your rest is good. Your fullness is about to go up, which is going to kick your happiness up. If you do a little more relaxation, then I think I'll send you off on your quick little three-hour expedition and back. So what did I say we had? Ten? No. Uh, CPUs, we have five. Malfunctioning ceiling lamp. Uh, which one? Oh, in the freezer. Okay. And we have these other ones to build, too. Now, Kana went off to get... There she is. She's getting something to eat. Off to get that leather, and then she's back. So, Rita... Improved pulse rifles. Oh, good. Uh, but first of all, Rita is not going to relax. Let's get you to relax so we can send you off. Okay, so... Improved pulse rifles. Refining of the recoil sus suppression mechanism. We've read this. It's a mouthful. Yeah. Make better impulse right or pulse rifles with lots and lots of energy crystals yeah um is that enough i don't know it says 570 what does a power cell need it needs 30 so that's just shy of 20 that's 19 power cells out there how many power cells per weapon? We just got done with that one, with the improved pulse rifle. So how do I craft weapons? The pulse rifle 2.0 takes four power cells. Wow. Just kind of gauging the lifetime of the rest of this series, this map. Are we going to use up... 19 more than 19 power cells and are we going to wish that we had planted those right now let's explore that so we've already grabbed the fertilized area for this so if we set up something else it's going to be although i guess we could get out into here with it yeah i suppose so we don't have to get in here then have to fertilize it which is another step yeah let's do that we'll take you into here and Grab a patch like that, and maybe we'll fill in that void up above there, right there. Okay, so that's now energy crystals. Okay, so Rita, you got some work ahead of you. Though I could get other people planting those. I think Carter planted a lot of these, but Carter's busy. Edmund, when he gets back, well, we'll get both of them to finish off all these, then maybe we'll send both of them out there to plant. So you're done. Celebration is coming, and it's raining. Yeah. Rain also boosts the growth of plants, too. Rita is harvesting. Okay. It's time to send you out of here. So you, expeditions, and supercomputer, three hours. Rita. Send. And... Escape, escape. So you're going to be back by 6 to 7. 11 o'clock is the celebration. Edmund got out of here by 5. 7. That's 2. That's 9. 10 p.m. He should be back just in time as well. Okay. So I think they're going to be fine for celebrating New Year's tonight. Which isn't when we celebrate New Year's. Theirs is the first day of spring or last day of winter so this is the end of winter hmm good Carter is constructing traps Rita is taken off there she goes exploration complete Edmund just got to his place I detected one of the ships what ship we just went off to explore one of the ships data storage devices these small modules contain bits of the ship's memory flight logs crew profiles personal mails and whatever go there immediately Okay, and immediately is the data core, a large quartz-like column with a broken terminal, was emitting dim, dying light. I quickly figured out that this was part of the ship's library and access the emergency survival encyclopedia. I had already collected some notes when the data core went dark for good. We've got a breakthrough for research. Okay. 
chitin synthesis. What does that mean? The insect shells are made of chitin. Okay which is a good alternative to synthetic fibers. The properties of this bio-based material makes it an ideal candidate for the production of synthetic cloth. Okay, so even though it's chitin, we're using insect meat. <laughs> and we don't really use the synthetic cloth anyway. So we'll, we'll keep making fuel out of our insect meat, which is happening there. These are mostly going. Kana is handling furnaces. Kana, I would love for you to start handling electronics again. We are maxed out at five. Let's take that up to something like eight. Okay. Umar, you are now researching hydroponic racks. We can see what that's all about. Research. I'm going to do electric smelting next and then force field barriers. Yep, that works. Chitin synthesis to make synthetic fibers. Yeah, we'll probably pass that one. Thunder. Ooh. I haven't had a good lightning storm since uh, since last fall. And boy, Carter is just thumping these things out. Man, it has been raining the whole episode, hasn't it? That's, yeah, that's probably annoying them, I'm guessing. Happiness. Soaking wet. Only a negative six. Okay, not that big of an annoyance. Come on, pull out of there. There we go. Um, Expedition Discovery Mulch Tube. So she's discovering... Oh, it's a plant. Okay. I found this tube-looking plant that had a sweet aroma when I approached it. The source of the smell looks to be the fruit that are on top of it. It appears to be producing sweet syrup. Interesting. The strange thing about this plant is that it seems to change the soil around itself. Upon further observation, it looks like it absorbs part of the syrup. The music gets louder when I put it on pause. And I'm stuck. I can't unpause it. Um, absorbs part of the syrup from its fruit which is processed inside the plant and secreted into the soil probably nurturing the growth of specific bacteria. This process improves soil quality of the soil where the plant grows. Interesting. So we could use this to... Let's get out of this. There. Now it's quieter. So we could use this to improve soils around the area. Wonder if we could use it to bring this back. That's interesting. Otherwise, that'd be worth experimenting. This right here. What is going on with that? So let's try some mulch, mulch, mulch tube right in here. Let's see. That's probably not the best place to have done that. But let's do that. And extend. Oh, I'll just kind of make a circle out here. Yeah, that works. Out of there. And one more. <laughs> okay, so we'll see what it does to this after it has grown. I'm not going to fertilize it. And plant is on. Okay. Boy, we got a lot of planting to do. More food than we're ever going to use, I'm sure. But it's, it's what we do. <laughs> Research. Okay, you're done. They're all done. And we are now back to running. Carter is still working on all of these. Simon, what you doing? You tend to do all kinds of things. Kana is handling furnaces still because it is all on her list to do the whole thing. I don't remember setting her to this, so she's doing it on her own. What are we making, anyway? We're making concrete. Okay. So that's going to leave us at 145 when we're done. We could concrete some of these fences that way, I suppose. Now, Simon is transporting wood. So he's just off picking up things that have been sitting around for a long, long time. I should probably leave him to do that. We'll start gathering things in that we didn't even know was out there. Yeah, so it's just 10 wood left out here, and that's done. Any branches? Or expedition complete. Okay. Uh, any hay, I guess it would be. Branches were over here. 
Um, I thought I had set aside some branches to be cleared out and cut. Guess I didn't. How are we doing on that? Ah, oh, we're doing fine. Okay. So, expedition complete. This is Rita. And managed to pull out some CPU cores without damaging them. Great job. So, what is on its way back? You're this one? Yeah, three more coming in. And you just got the research. Okay, so four hours, you're back. So, yeah, 20 hundred. So, everybody will be back for New Year's Eve. Great. So... Probably not much more going on right now. What's what's in our area right right through here? Oh, these branches. Oh, yeah, I did queue some up. I'm trying to remember what I had been up to. I did this before today in preparation for recording this episode. Got about 30 minutes into the episode and realized that I hadn't turned my microphone on. <laughs> hate when that happens so we yeah i was too tired to be recording anyway so it was probably a, a blessing in disguise so we could tear the brick out of this and recycle some of that that might be wise let's grab that a little better actually let's double click there there we go so let's deconstruct that which i'm guessing carter will stop everything and go deconstruct i think he prefers deconstruction let's find out what he does there's got to be a cart oh there he is deconstructing a fence yep how are you doing is this worth the run down there yeah you're in pretty good shape okay simon is transporting oh stone i was thinking where are you going out there to find concrete oh, there must be stone out here somewhere there there it is okay that's good Simon, so just keep finding all those things that I didn't know were out there. Bring it all home. All right, what's happening inside? Who we are doing his research in his leather vest. Yeah, no good lighting there. There we. Yeah, still not yet. Guess we're back to here. Yeah, scribbling notes. Looks like a map. <clears throat> Kana's over here making electronics. Soldering. Paulette is grabbing supplies to make oils. Okay. Then she's going to grab some bug meat. Come over here and make some oils. In fact, I'd rather you did all this out of... Oh, we've peaked out. Let's take you up to 100 of vegetable oil. Okay. And less of the other one. It makes kind of the same stuff, but we've got so much grain in here. May as well use that first. Okay. So what is she doing now? Now she's going to go make something with the oil she just put, produced. Okay. Good. Um, there's a Rita. We found out last time we were almost out of foods. That the ovens can't make much more because we don't have resources um, let's kick the grain porridge up let's kick bread that's bread that's grain and fats so we kick that up too there's Edmund he's on his way back too so we can get more of those two going veggie stew we're probably getting low on what it takes to make that yeah we have some true root left I think but yeah we're pretty much done with last year's crops except for the grain so, yeah, we'll, we'll kick a few of those up a little bit more this time with the, the increased number of butter melons. What else did we increase? That was that one. And then the, the berries. Yeah, the bush roots. So, we need to get these guys chopped. I have to remember that one. Send somebody in there. Okay, so we are at 2200, about to start our celebration. And they're going to light up a bunch of fireworks and have a ball, except that Carter's going to go deconstruct right now. Um, Carter, what you looking like? Yeah, why don't you go and sit down for a moment? No, you're already relaxed. Okay, I'll just have to let you walk all the way down there, then let you walk all the way back up. 
Uh, Carter, you can... Yeah, you can go smelt something. Carter. Handling a furnace. Oh, so you're gonna go and grab some some she or scrap metal. Okay. 2300. Actually, let's... Draft and undraft. Everybody can go and start celebrating now. No, you're not going to. Interesting. Still deconstructing, harvesting. <clears throat> what happened to 2300? Oh, there it is. Slap me in the face. Okay, turn around. Heart Rita, turn around. They, some of these jobs that they're automatically programmed to do. All right, fine. We'll do it the hard way. There. We'll take them the whole two or three hours to go take their trip and then uh, get back. All right, so what are we going to do officially? We're going to walk out into the fields in the dark and we're going to pull fireworks out of our pockets and stomp on them. And then... I don't know. <laughs> We've only done this once. Between year one and two. This is between years two and three or thereabouts. That's yeah, interesting. There we go. Uh -huh. They're done firing off their fireworks and heading back inside and just got a pop-up. We have a new insect nest, which, whoa, is not anywhere close. Where are we? Well, where are we? Oh, I turned off the, those things. No wonder I couldn't figure out where we were. Okay, so we're way up the hill. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Let's wait till daylight and figure out where that is. Oh, here's the old ones. Okay. It's way over there. Alright, that doesn't really affect us. We haven't even cleared out the old ones yet. Speaking of, I was still at 1300. Though it's not all been brought in. Uh, skip the insect nest. Turn you off. And everyone's going to sleep. Kana's up already or... Does she not go to bed? She didn't go to bed. Kana, go to bed. Yep. Umayar, same thing. You need to go to bed. Umayar, you are... I forget. You're right over here, right? Yeah. Everybody else is sleeping? Everybody else is sleeping. And we have the remnants of one last snowman. <laughs> okay. So, what is going on out here? Let's see if there's any more giant chicken nests. Oh, that doesn't look good. You sleeping or are you, uh, you're ready to butcher? There must be a giant chicken nest out here somewhere. You're sleeping. The rest of you are sleeping? Yep, no, no butchers in here. So, who took down the, uh, Olfen? I don't see any nests out here. Huh. I don't know. Do they die of old age? Not sure, but... It doesn't tell me, right? Yeah. Um, we are out of red meat. Maybe we should think about a hunt? In fact, I say let's go ahead and do that. Uh, can we do that? Let's grab you guys. Let's hunt all of you. Let's leave one male and two females. Right, we'll take care of that then. So Rita and Carter and Edmund, I believe, are all set for hunt. Uh, activities. Hunt. Carter. Rita. You're going to plant first. Okay, 
I need to let you. So we'll let Edmund and Carter take care of that. So let's kick this speed up a little bit. They're still sleeping, kind of get them going. Get some meals. Now, before you make the run all the way up there, yep, you're in good shape. Carter, you just need food. Your food's done. You're in good shape too. So you guys can go out there and stay out there and not worry about it. Okay, so Simon is taking care of furnaces. Let's set him on, is it deliver first? Simon. You have handle as your number two, but you have deliver as your number one. I think that means going out, hauling items to storages and devices, yeah. So does that mean there's nothing more to, to deliver? Because you're handling now? I'm assuming there's still a bunch of goods out over here, right there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. It's all over here. That's where I figured you would be next. Okay, so back over here, gunshots, and slow you guys down. Going on a hunt, waiting for the Olfen to get tired of this and go and kick some Carter butt. We'll see. Tried to do that once to him. <laughs> okay, well, they're doing their thing. And we'll roam through here. I said that we didn't want to bring in any more... There is a bird nest. There we go, Gujo. Didn't want to bring any more dogs until... You, you're a log. Until we were fenced off, and we kind of are now. So we could probably do something like that. If we find one around here. I don't want to go too far away. That's a long trip to go and train and then haul back in. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything somewhat nearby. I imagine they kind of spawn in and out as the game progresses. I am not seeing anything. What are you? You used to be a Gujo. Okay. And you are poultry meat. That is a bunch of ore. Let's mark that. And this must be the nest that Gujo came from. Okay. Well, I am not seeing... There's one last valley over here. Any kind of pooches... roaming around. Wild dogs. So, they must not be a thing at this moment. Nope. Okay. Fences to be torn down, so we still have this going on. More bricks available. Uh, Simon is transporting. Oh, this was dropped off. Reed has been planting. So what's different here? So, extend. You are three by threes. So that is a 3x3. Three three. That must be what's going on with this one. Let's take you to there. There wasn't enough squares for that third, that last row. Okay. So that... Oh, she's already given up on those and moved on. Okay. But she might get back to that and plant those last two. Otherwise, we don't really need any. We're not actually using that... Actually, we're not really using that leather, are we? We're not. That's just taking up space on the shelf. Hmm. Let's turn off harvest and eh, we'll plant the two just to fill it in, but we won't necessarily need to harvest it. Did I turn off harvest on all these so they can just stay there? Harvest. I think I did. Not the trees, though. Yeah, I think I sat here one day and just clicked on all these. Okay. Oh, that one's not on. Harvest. Okay. Oh, well, maybe after this episode while I'm editing, I'll pop back in and hit every one of the squares. Kind of leave that area planted on purpose. Carter is transporting. Okay, so he brought in all the leather 
and Edmund's bringing in all the leather. Guys, we really could have used the meat. Simon, can you come up and, you know, bring all the meat in? What? This, this is all poo. Okay, where's the meat? Alrighty. Over it like so. They could be a square. Meat. Over here. So let's grab more like this area. 190 raw meat. Right there. Okay. So Simon, when you, you're transporting. Okay, you're picking up everything and Rita's dropping. Let Rita bring it in. You haul these guys. Bring that in before uh, before nightfall. See how much you can bring in. You'll drop it all off over here, but then Paulette can come out here. Or actually, right here. Paulette can come out here and grab it. This can only handle 200, if I remember right. I think it's 100 per stack. So beyond that, we'll just drop them to the freezer anyway. All right, so we got those two expeditions done. We're getting planting done getting kind of ready for the next uh, attack. I hate having the, the fences questionable. Are these still wooden fences? I assume they are. They've not officially been torn down. Uh, bricks three of three. So I guess the bricks have all been delivered. Upgrading. Okay. Just a matter of someone come out here and doing it. But we are delivering at the moment. That's Edmund. So Carter... You came in first. Where did you... You went back. Edmund, when you're done, you're not going back. You're going to grab a meal. Edmund likes what? He likes buttermelon pie. That doesn't exist yet. So, Edmund, grab whatever meal you can. Like a grain porridge. And then get in here and start rebuilding fences. So, reconstruct times two. Well, let's grab times five. That it? I guess it's there. Okay, we'll see how far you get. This game I've noticed is not transitioning well from day till night, or night till day. It just kind of the lighting changes really abruptly now. So some little tweak to the game made that different than it used to be. Anyway, you guys are doing your things, and that's pretty much the end of our second day. Any more? Announcements are going to pop in. These are to be deconstructed. There's an announcement. Hydroponic rack. To create a hydroponic rack, we need a few basic materials like metal bars and grow lights. However, instead of using water, we're, we'll be using soil to grow our plants. Well, what's the definition of hydroponic? This game doesn't use water, that's why. So it isn't, an, it isn't a, a material that it can use. Now, the key to success is ensuring proper aeration and monitoring the pH levels of the soil. With a hydroponic rack, we can grow fresh herbs and vegetables year-round without the need for harmful pesticides. So that sounds more like they're confusing the definition of organic with the definition of hydroponic. But, alrighty. You, you, you just do you. So hydroponics, what do you look like? I, I don't remember clicking on this. Hydroponics, farming. Boom, there you are. So you consume only one, that's not bad. And take some alloys. Now, I don't really have a space for you. Do we want someone to share their bedroom? <laughs> we could pop it in over here just to see what happens. That's an entrance. Sure, we'll we'll do that right there. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Rita is running over to plant these two, or this one. Yep, now we've finally got this evened out. We were missing one row, that's what it was. So she's evened these out. They were kind of staggered wrong. And we can be done with this field for good. Simon's transporting only 25 of those. So things are just kind of popping. You are grasses. You are hay. So not that important. Really water planting. But we are at the end of our day. We're at midnight. So no point in telling her to go do that. She's going to sleep. You're dropping that off. This can be built. Carter's eating. Um, Edmund. I must have already had the order. Yeah, he's done. Okay. 
So, Paulette, what are you doing up there? You're going to get some meat. <laughs> Dang it, I've been wanting to make meat pie for so long now. I'm going to go get me some meat anyway. <laughs> Even though if you'd waited just a little bit longer, it's sitting right there. Okay, well... I think with that, I'm going to call this one done. Kind of an uneventful episode, but one of those necessary ones in between attacks, which is probably coming next time. So with that, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.